Curiosity Kids, this is Linda, museum educator here at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Are you curious about art? Let's go see what we can discover. Before we start, you may want to get a piece of paper and a pencil so you can draw with me. If you can't find a pencil, a crayon, or a marker will work. It really doesn't matter as long as it makes a mark on your paper. When you start to create art, it can be difficult to figure out where to start. Easiest place to start? Draw a line. No, really. A line is the easiest thing to do. But what is a line? A line is a mark on a surface that indicates movement. But what does that mean? Put the tip of your pencil on a piece of paper. That creates a dot. Then, without lifting your pencil, move the dot. You did it! You drew a line. I'm sure your line looks different than mine, and that's okay. There are all sorts of different kinds of lines. There's no right or wrong when drawing a random line. Let's look at some different types of lines. Try drawing them with me. Get your paper and pencil ready. If a dot moves from left to right, it creates a horizontal line. If a dot moves up or down, it creates a vertical line. If a dot moves to a point off to the side, it creates a diagonal line. The dot can skip, creating a dotted or dashed line. It can move back and forth, creating a zigzag line. Maybe it makes an arc. This is a curved line. A wavy line is made by a dot wiggling up and down as it moves. When a dot moves in loops, it creates a curly or looped line. A dot can move in any way you choose. You can create all sorts of crazy lines. That's how we draw. Now let's use our eyes and look at some artwork in the museum's 2020 Art of the State exhibition and see if we can spot some lines. Can you spot the horizontal lines in this photograph of a Quaker meeting house? What about the vertical lines in this quilt? The artist's choice of bold fabrics may help you spot the vertical lines. Diagonal lines may be a bit harder to spot, but try finding a few in this abstract painting of a city at night. Dotted and dashed lines are featured in the buildings captured in this watercolor. Zigzag lines can be easy to spot. Can you see the zigzags in this artwork created using color pencils on paper? There are many curved lines to spot here. Look for the curved lines among the mixed items in this sculpture. Can you spot the wavy lines? This sculptor used wavy lines to help represent the fragments of thoughts, feelings, emotions, and memories within our lives. Curly lines are easily hidden within works of art. Can you see the curly lines within this etching? So give art a try. Draw some art just using lines. See what you can create. The next time you look at art, see if you can spot 
all the different types of lines the artist used. Join me again next time to explore something else I'm curious about. Thanks for tuning in.